Welcome back to Independent Verification. My name's Andrew, and today we're going to be reviewing the Baoking 1.5 gallon stainless steel vacuum chamber. This particular product on Amazon does not come with a vacuum pump, so I've sourced one separately. This review will consist of the pot, the lid, the pressure gauge, the hose, and the silicone mat that comes with it. The pot appears to be nice and sturdy. It has a very large rubber or silicone gasket that goes around the entire glass lid. The glass lid is extra thick. And instead of tapping threads into the lid, it simply uses a nut with two rubber gaskets on the inside and the outside. Now, that means there's one on the inside and one on the outside, but I found that using just one gasket on the inside didn't allow the nut to screw down and put enough force on that gasket to hold the vacuum well enough. That's okay, they include several extra gaskets with this set, as well as an air diffuser. Currently I have it hooked up to a Harbor Freight vacuum pump, and as you can see, we are holding pressure because we are degassing some silicone. A few things to keep in mind in order to make sure this particular setup maintains a vacuum is one, to start the vacuum, sometimes you need to press down on the lid just a tiny bit until a suction is created, pulling the lid down onto the pot. Another thing to consider is that if any sort of finger grease or oily substances get on the gasket, that can make the effectiveness of this gasket, well, less effective. So, if you do happen to get anything on it, you could probably use something like some Dawn dish soap, which is a surfactant, that will pull off any grease and grime from the silicone gasket, as well as applying that same Dawn dish soap to the lip of the metal pot. That way, the oils don't interfere with the gasket doing its thing. The system in the day or two that I've used it hasn't had any problems maintaining a vacuum. I've pulled the vacuum down to just two notches below negative 30 on this gauge and maintained that vacuum for several hours, at which point I decided to release the vacuum by turning this ball valve. I haven't personally experienced any flaws with this system. The vacuum holds well, the glass lid doesn't appear to crack, it wasn't cracked and it seems to do just fine. A tiny warping uh, does occur when under an intense vacuum for a long period of time, but that warping does not appear to be permanent, nor does it seem to affect its capability of maintaining a vacuum. For its intended purpose of degassing silicone, it does a fantastic job, and I personally am quite pleased with it. On Amazon, other buyers have noted things like cracked lids, warped pots, and the inability to maintain a vacuum. I personally haven't run into those problems, but I've only been using this setup for a few days now. We'll have to see what happens in the long term, and if something happens, I will be sure to leave a comment and pin it in the comment section of this video. But until that happens, or if that happens, I will let you know.